What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your web page HTML so that you can feature in Google's rich snippets or rich results. And we do this by adding structured data. So if you're not sure what rich snippets or rich results are, here is a good example. So I've just put in the search here, Google SEO rich snippets, and you can see the first result here is not your stock standard web page with a blue line and a little bit of text. Um, what you get here is this structured data and you get a couple of images. Now this is for, for an article, that's one type of rich snippet. And if we go down a bit further, these are also rich snippets. And surprisingly enough, when you're actually looking for SEO, a lot of the SEO type consulting and businesses fully understand how to do this. So you get a lot of FAQ rich snippets listing here. Some other examples, if we went on to Google and we type Baker Cake near Melbourne, you can see here these first results are not your stock standard results. So Sam is baking high. These are cake shop in Melbourne. You can see you've got an image. So this is a, a rich snippet. This is a rich snippet. And a bit further down, you can see them as well. And again, we've got the FAQ and these ones here are just your normal Google results. So you can probably understand that when people are searching for a product or service, these results get more clicks than your stock standard one. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can do this. We're going to do it for blog articles using Webflow CMS dynamic pages, and it's really easy. So let's do it. All right. So I've got this site, Mango Juice. It's got a whole heap of blog content in it, and we want to enable the schema markup so that the each of the articles can be featured in rich snippets. And the way we do that, we go over to this site here called Merkle. If we click on the drop down here, we can see that you can create the the markup for many different types of rich snippets or rich content. So we've got an article, you've got breadcrumbs, you've got an event, FAQ and, and how to. So for this one, we're going to go with article. We want, you can see here, it's got a blog posting, so that's fine. So down here, article type, we'll pick blog posting. For the URL, I'll just grab the URL of one of the articles. Okay, so I'll just paste the article. Now, this can be any URL within your dynamic page set. And you'll see on the right here, it's adding the, the data that I enter in. And don't worry about that too much for now, because we're going to fix this once we get over to, to Webflow. So for the headline, I'm just going to type headline here. For the URL, I'll just put image, the image URL, short description. I'm just going to type short disk, the author type, We'll make it a person, the author, I'll just type author, author URL, don't have one, publisher, I'll type in mango juice, won't worry about that, publish date, we'll put today, today. Okay, that's all we need. So you can see here we've got the, the schema markup, all we need to do is copy it. Then what we want to do is head back over to Webflow. If you are using Webflow CMS for your blog posts and creating dynamic pages, you will have a template. So if you click on the pages here and scroll down a bit, you'll get to posts template. Now, all you need to do is click on the edit the settings here. And once you scroll down a bit, you'll see this before body tag section. And this is where we can add our custom code. So we just want to paste in this structured data code. And what you will see is something like something like this. And all we need to do now is update this code so that it updates for every single page for all of our blog posts. For this slug here, what we want to do is just highlight this and we will delete it and then just go to add field and we'll go to slug. So this will dynamically update. For our headline, again, we just highlight it and we'll replace it with our name. In, in this case, short description. I think I've got a field for that one. Intro text, image. This is where we can get our image, article header image, author. For Webflow, you want to go right down the bottom here, author name. For our publish date, we just highlight this one. And in Webflow, for our publish date, we just scroll right down the bottom and you'll see published on. And then for our modified, again, just highlight it, delete it, and select updated on. So I think you get the picture. And if you were doing this for FAQ schema markup, basically all you'd need to do is add your couple of FAQ fields into your CMS for your blog post. And then you would just reference those FAQ question one, answer one. 
etc. So same process if you want to do this for FAQ, if you're doing a recipe, it's probably going to ask you for maybe reviews, the image, that type of thing. It's all the same. So once this is done, we just want to hit save and that will update. It. And then we're going to test whether the rich snippet has actually worked. So Google has the ability for us to test that. Okay, so once all those changes are done, you've saved it, you do need to republish your site. So I've just republished this one. And now we're going to go and take a look at the Google rich result test page and confirm it's all going to work for us. So, so with the site republished, we head over to search.google and then there is a test rich results. I'll actually put the link in the description and you can head over here if you want to test your pages once you've done this update. So I'll paste the URL in that I had from before. So Google will let us know if we're eligible to be featured in the rich results section for blog article. So there you have it. One valid item detected. It is all good. There is a non-critical issue there that I can probably take a look at later. But as it says within the documentation here, a non-critical issue does not prevent you from getting published in the rich results section. So that is how you can add that structured data to your web page. You can do this with other CMS platforms. If you got value from this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn about how you can generate content and publish it in Webflow, check out this video here. I'll catch you in the next one.